Welcome to Take 5. Our second episode is on why antistatic properties on glazing are important. Ambient dust from carpets and other environmental sources can be attracted to surfaces that have a static charge. High traffic areas get especially dusty from fibers sloughing off the visitor's clothes. Some museums have found that their cleaning times are cut significantly by as much as 90% when works on display are under anti-static glazing. Where glazing is part of the artwork, such as in face mounting and direct printing applications, anti-static properties also stay clean longer and in turn increase the longevity of the artwork. Static can also be problematic when trying to keep the glazing and frame packages clean during the framing process. This is especially true if many works are being framed at the same time. Some framers have stated that their framing time is cut by half when they use anti-static glazing. Static can also be an issue when framing artwork with material that is loosely bound to the surface. Examples of this are charcoal, as seen here in a large drawing by Torold Stray, red chalk, as seen here in a self-portrait by Leonardo da Vinci, and with loosely bound pastels, as seen here in a work by Amos Ashanti Johnson. Textiles can also be friable, especially as they age and the fibers degrade and weaken. Static and display cases for books and other paper-based or lightweight media have also been prone to cause problems. The pages can lift and attract to the glazing. This tends to happen during cleaning or if viewers touch or lean on the case, which can generate static. Static charge can build up as the cloth is wiped across the glazing surface. Here's an example of regular acrylic on the left and anti-static acrylic on the right. The glazing is about an inch above the jars of pigments. As you can see, the pigments under regular acrylic leap out of their jars and onto the acrylic during cleaning. The pigments under anti-static acrylic stay in place. When looking at the relative static charge of various types of glazing, you will notice that regular acrylic is the most static, followed by regular glass. Glass with coatings, such as True Views Museum Glass and Conservation Clear Glass, have less static than regular glass. Optium Museum Acrylic holds the least static. Here I am using lightweight gift wrapping tissue to show the differences in static on three types of glazing. We have standard UV blocking acrylic, optium museum acrylic, and ultraview laminated glass. Standard acrylic has a high electrostatic charge and the paper tends to cling to it, which can be very dangerous when framing works made of lightweight papers. Optium museum acrylic has almost no electrostatic charge and the paper remains on the table. Ultraview laminated glass has very little charge as well, and the charge it does have dissipates off the glazing in about 11 seconds. How does TrueView make acrylic glazing anti-static? Layers of metal oxides are applied to the surface of the acrylic sheets to make the glazing anti-reflective by way of a sputter coating process, which we discuss in another episode. The important thing to point out here is that one of these metals, tin, is conductive. This allows for the electric charge to dissipate off the sheet immediately, forming an anti-static surface. The metal oxide coatings that do this anti-static magic remain physically and chemically bonded to the glazing and are permanent. They do not wipe off, get tired, 
or change over time. Thank you for watching and until the next Take 5. Thank you.